Today we mark the 70th anniversary of the Battle of Midway. This battle, which took place only six months after the attack on Pearl Harbor, is not only one of the most significant events in Enterprise history, but is also one of the most defining moments in our Navy's history. This morning, we pause for a few moments to reflect on the battle itself, the role each member of the Enterprise Strike Group played, and the sacrifices sailors and Marines, just like you, made on those early days of June 1942. Good morning, Enterprise and Air Wing One. Captain here. On this day in 1942, the entire complexion of the war in the Pacific changed, thanks in no small part to the efforts of those serving aboard Enterprise. A fight loomed and Big E was ready to get on with it. The Battle of Midway was a turning point in the war in the Pacific and in the way our nation and our Navy viewed carrier capabilities and tactics. The aircraft had supplanted the mighty battleships at Coral Sea, and Midway would demonstrate just how quickly fortunes could change. Knowing this is our legacy, it is an absolute honor and privilege to remember the heroes of the Battle of Midway aboard our nation's most historic and legendary aircraft carrier, a great warship with a long-standing bond with Destroyer Squadron 2. The Battle of Midway was not won by superior equipment, and certainly not because we outnumbered the Japanese. Victory was achieved because of the absolute resolve and determination of our Navy and the American fighting spirit so common throughout the history of the United States Navy and Marine Corps. From the fan tail of this great ship that also bears the name Enterprise, we will now honor those sailors and Marines who made the ultimate sacrifice at Midway with the laying of a wreath. We remember their great victory and tremendous sacrifice. Above all, we will honor them as part of the Enterprise legend, a legend that will continue to live long into the future. Admiral out.